Look at this tiny little goober. Just gotta worry about getting run over at every single moment. Money? A hundred bucks. You didn't you didn't call them loonies. That that's a body. That's not I thought that was a garbage bag. It's a gun. Yes, but not for me, evidently. As it were. Club foot. <laughs> eh. Um, you looking for a guy called Kavester? It's funny you should ask. My buddy pal Sam Schlongs <laughs> involved in some offshore drilling with Kavester's very young and quite frankly drop dead wife. Offshore drilling. He tends to know where and what Kavester's doing. You might want to ask him. I think he was headed to Mistress Mavina's to have his fortune told. You dig the outfit? The sailor thing seems to be such the rave these days, and I'm always a scurrying bitch for trends. Know what I mean? Oh, I see. Hard-boiled. Cute, but no cigar. All this time I thought it was smooth down there. What? What are you looking at? All this time I thought I was smooth down there. There are like several implications, potential garbage. Yes. Felt the need to narrate it though. Fresh mags, take your pick. Scurf, Spooch, and Lather Weekly? Monkey versus Robot? Question mark? Deus Sex? Ha ha ha. From the same company. Sam's Monthly Balloon Animals. No ka -ching, thanks. You're... You're sure? No one will know who I am. Uh oh. This is sounding predatory already. Become any face. Play any role. Lose your identity. I am host to the widest selection of anonymity per daz in the red light. I have shadow cowls, farfanade masks, high quality Judas cloaks, even Berbulian smoke veils. I have muffled napkins, leather face curtains, uh, tragedy masks, and lampshade dominoes of every size, color, scent, and luster. There is a mask for every face. Shall we see which one fits you? No one will know who you are. No one will ever think to ask. Become any face. Play any role. Lose your identity. So is he trying to hire her? Or is he trying to... Uh, patron her? Patron her? Pa what's word? Uh, that's where I came from, right? I guess I'll just start poking around. Haha. <laughs> but not there, evidently. What if I get really tiny, like a shrink ray type shit happens, and then I get to go into the, the Petri place? I don't know if you actually go inside of any of these places. Might be a much shorter zone than expected. You're interested in getting pierced? I could pierce any part of your body. I don't even need any equipment. Ah. Uh, brain piercing's especially popular right now. Just a remote activated micro barbell in the interstitial nucleus of the anterior hy hypothalamus allows you to control your reproductive behavior at will. Comes in handy around here. Well. Control your reproductive ability. In which ways? Always? I got pictures. I got underage Bipedri pics. Celebrity Rebullians, Shaved Gorians, you name it. Hell, I even got pictures of you. Um, that might not be the- actually might not be the heart around here. Someone who looks like you, anyhow. Um... What? 
Going for the narcissist angle then? What are you looking for? I got everything. Be nice to me. I got grease can sl uh, slot pots if you're reaching for a metal. I got the Petri celebrity looks like they'll leave you screaming lung hard. I got humpback girls. I got pavement princesses. I even got gazpacho girls wearing pop-eyed bangles on their milk purses. Walk on, you indecisive rod router. You're making me angry. I... <laughs> All right, these sentences take us on a journey. It's like the other it's like the other place full of the jargon for the stock market, but it's just a whole other library of nonsense. Um, did you hear that? Sound like an alligator or something, huh? This is a weird place, you know. There's all sorts of sounds coming out of pipes around here. What? Did you hear it again? Where is it coming from? Yeah, I heard it that time too. I don't know what to tell you, man. We may never solve this mystery. What did you eat for breakfast? Seriously, you better evacuate the area. <laughs> he just keeps fuck. <laughs> just, just this huge elaborate attempt to, uh, de to, to deflect from the blame of farting when I walked up to him. Um, Cold sweat sex machine. I didn't even know this one would open, at first glance. Oh, it's that sign though, yeah. I just saw a wall and was surprised it moved. Move on, Fuzzy, you'll blow my cover. You're not supposed. to- Rat on me and I'll knife you. You're not supposed to be here. You- well, Jesus Christ, why are there so many kids involved in this storyline? Like, that, that was the creepiest thing so far, there was the, the fucking guy that's like, Yeah, I got pictures of underage Papidri and you, and I'm like, okay. One of those is a crime, in real world at least, and the other one is threatening? Why do you, why would you just jump out with those just on, 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 just on a whim, with no prompting that you're even, like, what a weird risk to go on. Like, why, why tell people? Is this the dancer? I'll dance for you as soon as I'm done with these customers. Yes, that is the dancer. It's a robo dancer. He's got a little they got a little mouth painted on the front. Sorry, Rick, I just can't get off on this. Open your mind, man. Go with the experience. Enjoy it for what it is. <laughs> Why don't you love my creepy little bug robot dancer that has lips painted on it? Isn't this hot? This is hot, right? Whoa! The fuck am I looking at there? Oh, it's because these guys could transform. That's what they said lookalikes, the celebrity lookalikes. Because they can transform into them, I think. It's hard to keep track of what all the different uh, races are. This might pass for entertainment if they were topless, wearing diapers. Uh, or rubber masks that look like women's heads. Maybe fursuits, you know. Like mascots at Zongball games, but with like bigger breasts. Actually, you know those rubber cat suits that you inflate? Kind of made people look like bi Biker Santa with a gas mask? Maybe some flippers. That's the kind of stage presence those people need to have. Yeah. Th <laughs> There's only so far I can tolerate this vanilla crap. If the drinks weren't so good, it'd be back over the at the not even barely legal. At least they have monkeys. Not even barely legal? No! No! Stop with the underage shit! Stop it! Everything else, I'm just like, okay, fine, you're weird, whatever, fine, but stop it with the fucking underage- Stop referencing underage shit constantly. It's getting really weird. Alright, man, you can, you can stop asking me about personal stuff, like I know you. Wow, this is such cheese. There's like dancing and transforming into things. That got fucking hardcore, like, <laughs> that got like straight up like internet weirdness in a way that I wouldn't expect from a 2001 game, honestly. Who the fuck was working at Ion Storm is my question now. Because everything here is mostly like the vanilla, sh it's like, everything here is like vaguely like the PG-13 form of a porn place because it's a video game in 2001. And if anyone was, was towing that line, it's probably not anything in 2001 about what you get away with. So it's like, oh, magicians transforming into different creatures. This is supposed to be titillating or something. And everything's like implied. And 
a lot of the imagination just comes to the idea like you're probably constantly like one wall away from people that are currently fucking basically but then you have like this then you have the surprising gimp suit stuff and you're like oh okay we're going places then that guy just fucking breaks out the, the fucking kink laundry list you're like okay huh where were you learning about these things i wonder in 2001 like, that's some early internet shit. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really curious about who was working at Ion Storm now. My hopes are gone. Old desire has vanished from my life. What am I? What am- what- why am I here? Stacked? <laughs> this spectacle does nothing to exercise my personal demons. Why am I here? I am not aroused. <laughs> You can get away with a lot, if it's just text. Tonight only, Samoth and Nevitz, Masters of Arcane Illusion. Well, they just walk through each other. Are these the same guys that were on Anachronox, or are these different people? I don't remember what their names were. They like to pose back to back. Oh, they're going through the floor now. Okay, bye. Enjoy hell. As if the down direction really means anything in space. And so the show restarts, clearly. Some people say they come to the red light for the excitement, or they want to be someone else, or explore another side of their personality. Me? I come for the naked girls. A man of simple tastes. I guess that's why they do vanilla shit here, as that guy, as the other guy put it. Slap me some dap. <laughs> slide me some dermits. Uh, slide me some dermits. Damn, baby. Where you been? Vi's been good around here since you've been gone. Pax raids are rare. Guess they got bigger worries now that plants are split in half, huh? Something to drink, baby? Torpedo juice. Gotta slide, Funky. Keep it alive, Funky Collins. Look at the tiny Bipedri table. How'd they get up there? They've got little drinks with little, with like little umbrellas in them. But how did they get up there? I guess the first Bipedri I ever saw were basically flying. They seem to have jetpacks or something. I won't make that. I won't make the little magician de dead. He makes me laugh inside, in the deep places. I won't, I won't make him dead, he makes me giggle in ways that I haven't felt since I was a little boy. The only hope and wonder I have left in life. And for my next trick, I'm gonna make their lives disappear. That's not nice. Oh, there's a gun, yep, it's just a gun. Why are you wobbly? That's creepy. That's like some paratopic shit. Where are the naked Janes? I read that it's jeans at first, and I was like, jeans can't be naked. <laughs> or they're always naked, I'm not sure. How do jeans work? Their food continues to be worrying. I'm always looking for new recipes to try out. Now that my tastes are maturing, I'm getting into the exotic eccentricities of Gorian cuisine. If you ever come across any interesting Gorian recipes, let me know. I'm willing to pay 250 loonies for a new recipe. Can I go back here? Yes. Male, female, and other. Ahead of their time. Of course, you could always just have bathrooms that just are bathrooms. Are they multiple users? Not really. There's one... Why is there a toilet stall if there's only one toilet? I guess if somebody can use the sink when somebody else is in the toilet? These could easily just be three others, basically. Like, it, it could just be three non-gendered restrooms, since apparently there's one toilet in each one anyway, and one sink. And you just have the door lock when it's occupied. Then you don't have any weird lines caused by people having to fight over their gender. Like, oh, there's too many of my gender here right now. What are these? 
Is that a sock on the... What? Oh, that makes sense, I guess. I'm honestly confused by the sheer... What the orientation of a lot of the stuff. The weird... Confusing use of... It, are these old toilets you sit in? And this stuff's so low to the ground. I think they're going for the idea that this is for the Petri. So I guess that is one reason why you have different restrooms. Because you're trying to have accessibility for al different alien races. And down here you've got... This has to be for the Petri, but I have questions. Because, like, they would fall in this toilet, basically, if they tried to use it. So, like, that's too big, but it is low enough for them to reach. And similarly, like, the sink is low enough for them to reach. But, like... How do they turn it on? How do they reach anything? Like, they can reach it from the ground, basically, but the sink is still fucking massive. Like, it's not a Petri-sized sink. It's just a Petri-height sink, which is not the same thing. So many questions to be had. Also, I'm, I, I get, I'm getting, guessing that everyone who's not a male or female human may not particularly appreciate being classified as other. <laughs> Why do the women have two bathrooms? Wait, they, they have two toilets. Why do dudes only have one toilet? What is going on? There's the, uh, there's the, uh, the stereotype of the long bathroom lines and whatnot, but I think that has more to do with the sink in the mirror than the toileting, specifically. So an, ex an extra toilet won't necessarily help if that's what you're going for. I think there's supposed to be a urinal here, but there isn't. So it looks like a weirdly... I, I, I went in here first and gave me all sorts of impressions of how this place worked that are just wrong. But this one just has one toilet and one sink. And no one, and then everyone else is fucked if they come in here. It's like, I guess I just gotta wait. Getting a sight at alien toilets. This is what we're spending today on. You're welcome, everybody. What's a dumb toilet joke? Something something... Ice cream smoothies, because this place is full of vanilla shit. Ha <laughs> I don't know. I was just like, how do I... How do I... Dr ah! I was like, how do I trace back what she... What he said earlier, back to a toilet joke, since we were in the bathroom? Nuh-uh. -uh. Not this place. We're here to work, not visit cat houses. Behave. She won't let me go in there. What place was that? The Orange Navel. Get things rubbed for a dollar. <laughs> Pleasant underglass. Like underclass? Like underclass? Not even mildly legal. Last time it was, it was not even barely legal. That's supposed to be the really creepy aspect where people are like, hey, this is barely legal, which is the idea that, like, somebody is of legal age, but you're still creepily going after young people and trying to get away with them being as young as possible. So, like, the phrasing is always really creepy. It's like having a countdown timer for when somebody's legal. It's like, it's the creepiest fucking idea that is often applied. I remember, I remember, uh, as, as a, a teenager, I guess, or whenever that was, like, older internet, I remember I'd randomly encounter, like, a countdown timer for when Emma Watson's legal or something, and it's like, I don't... I don't know, I don't like this, and I don't know why entirely. But now, now that I'm, but now I'm much older, I'm like... No, I know, I know why. It's just really fucking creepy. <laughs> it's really fucking creepy to obsess over when something's legal. Uh... In part, because if you're approximately the age of said person, then it shouldn't really be coming into play as a question to begin with. But, so like, it's primarily the obsession of people that are significantly older, and that age gap is weird. And often creepy. And you kind of wonder what, what, it, what it says about the person involved, if they're specifically seeking out people that are way younger than them. Almost like they never properly matured themselves. And they, need, and they, only, they can only interact with people that are themselves presumably behind on their development. Oh, that one opens. So we're not going into sex while you wait. 
wonder if we meet the floater at some point. Madam Cow... Couch... Couchers? Cow Cowkers? Slotopia. That's that language I still can't read. Can I read it now? No, because my, com my communicators for if we're talking to people. I, don't, I think like, I still can't read their signs. Three rules. No yelling at the girls. Keep your zipper up and nothing wet against the glass. Have fun. Don't yell at the girls. Keep your zipper up. Nothing wet against the glass. That's distressing. What what was going to be wet if the zipper's up? It was those creepy dolls that I could buy before. For 180 years, I've searched for one true thing. Love. You think you're gonna find it here at this, like, exhibit place? I'm not exaggerating. The area of Sender has made it possible for me to search every corner of this universe for... her. The Red Light District is my last hope. My perfect worst woman eludes me. Will I find her here? No. Isn't this place an exhibit? Yeah, it's that shit where you look through a, a window. There's one of these in, um... Maybe a few different games I've played, actually. There was one- I think there was one in Yakuza? And I think one in one of the Deus Ex games, perhaps? What is that? Is there two of them in there? They look like they're playing footsies. <laughs> like, it's a very strange visual. Now that's what I'm talking about. Look at how pouty her suction discs are. She has more orifice per square inch than any known species in the universe. Wait until she squirts her ink. I can't take it when she squirts her ink. That's, that's why I look for in a woman is maximum efficiency on number of orifices per square foot. <laughs> in here? Oh. It's just... Is there one lady or a few ladies? I think there's one lady just kind of walking around in there. I gotta get home and burp the worm. Um. Alright. They're so talkative about it. That's the biggest surprise. <laughs> Honestly. What if it is- Why if it isn't my favorite private eye? What's the occasion, Butch? Hell, I haven't seen you in months. You found me in the middle of a pickle man. I let a pickle man. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> a pickle man. I left my wedding ring in one of the rooms at the Orange Naval. Dumb, huh? Ever heard of a field trans transduction module? I need one fast. Yeah, a business associate got caught transporting one just last month. Now he's doing 20 to life. It violates more laws than I care to mention. Sorry, Sly. I appreciate a field transduction module's... A I'm afraid a field transduction module's a little too hot for my blood. Look, I've got a major supplier meeting me at any second. If you find that wedding ring for me while I take care of business, maybe we can work something out. It should be so somewhere in room number two. Hello. Well, now she has to let me in. Haha. -ha. I can't stand it anymore. I'm gonna take matter into my own hands. Inappropriate. Nope, there's a reason why there's a wall in the way. I suddenly feel like coming to grips with myself. Ha, 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 Coming to grips with myself. Special invitation only. And you don't look special. What? I'm- I literally look like the protagonist of a story. I- I'm definitely looking special. You look- you're all below poly and sad. Shit. Nothing wet on the glass. I, I, do people just start licking the glass? Booze and condoms. Brain piercing. I don't like that piercing is the go-to explanation. Also, I feel like you would need equipment for that one. No matter what, how much of a robot person you are or whatever's going on. Because I think she's a robot. 
But like, it's one thing to pierce somebody's ears with your like arm clamp or whatever that you have, if you have like a special piercing arm already. But like, a brain procedure sounds pretty extreme for no equipment. Holy shit. The floater is unusually small. And the Bapidri is looking, uh, like the blob at this point. Welcome to Tubby's Grease Shack. <laughs> what a name. You're gonna stand there all day staring at Tubby's Diaria, or are you gonna buy something? Every heal grease costs 12. I guess the heal grease plus is like 500 each. Only a thousand. I wish you could just type a number in, but I don't think you can. I'll spend some money on some on some heals. I've used some of them up lately, and honestly, those ones just aren't that expensive. You can sell, but I'm always a little worried I'm gonna sell something that I need. Tubby says, thanks for trying, Tubbies. Actually, he said go to hell. Got anything for Tedis Elbow? Hello. Dang it, I lost my shopping list. I guess he's just gonna have to buy everything in the store now. Chauvin? Chauvin? Does it say Chewin or Chauvin? Like Chauvinist or something. This big one, that one doesn't need much explanation. Everything else is too low poly to read. Looks like game? You needed, you needed a shopping list for the condoms and grease building or whatever the fuck this place was called? Oh, it's booze and condoms, right? <gasps> That's my taco. I'll sell it to you for 50 loonies if you want. That's cool. I wouldn't sell it to you anyway. He wasn't gonna sell it to me? I'll show you not selling it to me. Tractor beam! What are you for? I thought that was what you were for, sir. Okay, 50 loonies. We've, we've just got a carton of lap leather and some grease crayons in the back if you're interested. I am a planet, sir. Grease crayons? Is that different from a grease? I no, I, I used to work with grease pencils. I imagine a grease crayon is probably similar. Grease pencils are weird. You can use them to, to like, to draw like directly on like vinyl and whatnot. Uh, in a way that can be cleaned off and everything too. But it's like a, it's like a specific material that can write on other materials and whatnot, and uh, stuff that were like a pencil or pen wouldn't be very usable or would be too permanent. But it's also like it's really weird because you sharp the way like a pen you don't sharp and you just use it till it's out of ink, and then you replace the ink if you got a fancy one or in, mo in most cases you just throw it away. A pencil you sharpen. A grease pencil is weird, cause it's a, it's a, it's like a weird, like, white, like, almost like a stick of chalk that's long and narrow. And then it's wrapped by, like, several layers of paper, and there's a little rope sticking out uh, of the paper near where you write, kind of like a bookmark. And so if you pull on the rope, it cuts the paper. And the paper is in a series of little intervals where every quarter inch or so, there's like a dotted line on the paper that's like the the perforation that lets you tear it more easily. And so you would like pull the rope by like about a quarter of an inch to the next perforations. And then you would then pull the cut paper perpendicular to the direction of the rope. And it would then separate along the perforations all the way around the pencil and then it would therefore uncover a like quarter inch of the actual pencil by like sl like taking off a ring of paper around it one by one it's a weird it's it's a it's a weird device buy it here you go don't choke on it or get it stuck anywhere <laughs> the kind of warnings you got to give around here huh 
So he was gonna sell it to me. He was he was lying. Lap leather. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. Just because your bank monitors are speculating red lines, re there's no reason to liquefy holding assets. That's equity, man. People just don't consider their investments carefully. All right, no more free lunch. Buzz off. He probably works above. He probably works upstairs, where everyone's just talking about stocks and business all the time. It's just he's also here. Somebody got him on his off time. Meat. Ground chunk. Loin chop. Ham hock. Shirt steak. Meat. <coughs> Shouldn't have done that voice. Nope. Well, it's been fun, y'all. Goodbye. Go away. Oh, right, when he's talking about all the grease he has, because it was like heel grease and whatnot. I kind of forgot about that for a moment. Like, oh, right, they just call the healing items that, and we just pretend it's not weird. Mostly. Palms red. We got the story pointing us there. I got pictures. Yep, nope, 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 nope. Let's go to the palms red place, why not? Kavester Cop, his wife such a cream lily. Oh wait, Kavester himself? He's a regular at Sletopia. But you have to look up his wife if you know what's good what's good for your goods. Man, I wouldn't mind reading Mistress Mavina's card, I'll tell you that much. Could that really have been Senator Zontag from the Zadri Enclave with the Bapidri? That sounds difficult. <laughs> That's not, that just sounds like a difficult exchange for them. So good luck. Oh. Boop. Turbo alert wrist pincher. The fuck? They're just like impolitely hiding things in the curtains now. What's a turbo alert wrist puncher? Protects from Winky and Nuts in battle. Man. Gotta, you always gotta defend yourself against those Nuts, especially in this area. For a mere 13 loonies, Mistress Mavina will cut through the fog of the future with her cards. We could use a little guidance. Deal them. I choose four cards from the pack of colors. Here they are. Weird bubbles. Purple, blue, sun. They definitely look like game assets. Mavina, Mavina says, something for the short ones grows in the forest. Mavina has spoken. Next. That wasn't very helpful. Something for the short ones grows in the forest. Yeah, but can I get a message about where a tooth might be found? Anyway. <laughs> oh, is this the DJ? Stealing from her. This heel grease <gasps> completes me. Get up there and strut it, darling. Don't be bashful. Get up there. I don't. Where do, people, where do people dance around here? I don't see any dancing. This is like a weird, evil church, like in Silent Hill. Ah. I'm the one who originated the sailor look that's become oh so de rigueur in the red light fashion circles. My thinking was everything old is new again, right? I mean, we had the cowboy thing that was so chic for a while, and hell, the whole chic thing that was chic for a while. But we haven't really seen the sailor look for three or four seasons. 
While everyone scrambles to own up to the revival, the people who really know about fashion safely attribute yours truly as the one true influence behind the sailor look. Ixnay on the trench coat gumshoe. The hard-boiled look was about four seasons ago, and these days it's older than hat. Should I put the lab coat back on? Many people don't understand my attraction to bondage leather. It's my statement on the mechanical and repetitive nature of the human condition. I use my method of dress to empower the image of human bondage to impersonal forces of destiny, history, and society. Bondage is just an aspect of my psychological, spiritual immobility. So do people at Ion Storm have like some talks about this level? Or they had to reveal things in a few different directions, back and forth, like some of like did some of the stuff like did is it designed by committee? Like do multiple people discuss each line of dialogue? Or like does, does stuff just get snuck into this zone and no one quite knows which person put it in? Like I just I'm curious about the office culture. I'm always kind of curious how some of the stuff goes when you have stuff that's just really inappropriate in an office setting and then you develop that stuff and then you're like, okay, well, who who attributes all this content? Who writes these things? Who approves it? And like, what is the, just what is the development like at this point? I have so many questions. You got a, you got a reason to be here, Bigfoot? Any ways to learn a quick buck around here? Well, you could give us a man dance, Flippy. You sure? I suck. Oh, you do? Might want to try sex while you wait, then. <laughs> well, now I gotta know how bad he is. Here comes Mr. Slapdance. Alright, well, alright, let's go, Beef Burger. What is this dance? Oh my god, is it a game? Oh shit. How do I. Ba boom! <laughs> that's a dance. Well, wow, that's a lot of arousal meter we got there. I'm not. I'm not sure how. Uh, I'm not sure how out of date the hard boiled look is. If I'm being honest. Ah, shit. Damn. Tough crowd, they turn on you quickly. <laughs> Here's 180 bucks. Try again? Wait, can you just farm money here? Like, instead of grinding in combat encounters, you just... arouse a bunch of dudes? Well, d by dancing fully clothed, and you make like two hundred dollars. I feel like this takes relatively little convincing. There's like no real sacrifice involved as a person. This would be hard to even stigmatize. <laughs> like you were just, you just like yeah, just dressing in a full trench. Fuck. I fucked up at the same stage again, didn't I? I should just be pressing buttons immediately, but I want to read the entire pattern and then and then press it all in one go. Damn it! I fucked up again. Oh well. You just want to cat. I, I I always want to read the phrase and then enter it as like one pattern. I think I'm somewhat conditioned that way by Rock Band and Guitar Hero and whatnot, where you'd like see certain zigzagging lines across the screen, and you'd be like, aha, you play that in this way, like muscle memory wise. But I'm even further encouraged that because of uh, Ghost of Tsushima, where you have to press like seven buttons in one second in a really, really rapid fire sequence to cut the bamboo. So you have to like pre read it. I've been in the life for years now. I mean, once you've gotten blue, that's all you can do. Cowboyski? Is that you or you? No, it's him. It's not much that I'm proud of my blueness. 
I'm just not ashamed. Why would you be ashamed of being blue? Aren't you born that way? Me? I'm just blue curious. Some of my closest friends are blue. Beat it, you're not blue, you'll ruin my cred. You don't have to talk to him. He said I don't have to talk to you. Alright. Some of my best friends are blue. Uh, unfortunate rhetoric being repeated here. What? Oh, there's a guy here. You just can't see him through the transparency issue that well. This place doesn't smell like the frat house. Alright guys, I'm getting cold. Could you at least untie my hands? Hey, is anyone there? He's been... Looks like somebody's been captured. Well, have fun with that. <laughs> And at this point, we've gone in full circles. Pile o' hunks. All male, all nude. But I was their entertainment for the day, but I wasn't nude at all. And I'm not sure how sexy the dancing was, but whatever. Made $360. That's a haul. So we need to go to the Orange Naval. We have voted to stay behind while you visit this house of ill repute. We shall all wait for your return. I'll be right back, guys. Is no one coming with me? It's really saved. It's been a bit. You know, I'm feeling a little judged right now, guys. This is the only house of ill repute they won't follow me into, though. Is this the worst one? You ain't stepping upstairs unless you're a paying customer. Beat it. Well, how much do I pay? Now here's the bar. Send her debt. Galactic Gossip has updated, huh? Gems Jonas Center Net Update. Asagon 4 was dealt a tragic blow yesterday when authorities discovered the remains of a grisly scene at a remote site atop the Caprithid Mountains. 38,458 bodies were found among the ruins of an abandoned monastery that had served as the home to the controversial Reverend Drim Peoples and his followers for the last six months. All were participants in a ritual suicide led by Peoples himself, who ordered them to drink from a tub of grape-flavored Guya juice laced with potassium cyanide and enough tranquilizers to knock out a school of thunes. Peoples' body lay sprawled beside the poison-filled bowl. Though many of Peoples' followers, a very confusing name to have to an article about a bunch of people's deaths, Hailed from scattered parts of the galaxy, the natives of the Asagan Four suffered the greatest loss. There were 20,000 Etrans, Asagan's indigenous race, partook of Reverend People's special toast. It is said to be the largest mass suicide in the Etran's history. Born the illegitimate son of a small town minister, Kreka Peoples and Hollow Thorn and Hollow Porn star Unu Vash. Reverend Drim Peoples was a self-proclaimed deity who considered himself a reincarnation of both Gilaya and Titesh. His twisted interpretations of established doctrines quickly put him in the spotlight and thrust him into the forefront of controversy, sparking endless speculation over his legitimacy. Those who simply dismissed his antics as a typical doomsday cult were horrified by the latest turn of events on Asagan 4. Eerily enough, the mass deaths coincided with Sunder's destruction and the sudden rash of mystech activity throughout the known universe. And many in the religious and scientific uh, communities are scrambling to see if there could be possibly any connection between the separate incidents. Disparate incidents. You know, that was my surprise. They're like, blah 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 was dealt a tragic blow yesterday when, there was, when they discovered the remains of a grisly scene. And I'm like, okay, they're going to talk about the planet that's split in half, right? 
It's like, nope, 38,000 people died in a completely unrelated thing. <laughs> Fuck. It's not where I thought we were going at all. There's a huge business conference where every major system is meant to be expected to be represented. Uh, topics will be the recent currency standardization up to Terran Canadian dollar. <laughs> That's right, the entire world, all Canadian. What a world. The entire universe. Sendormatory opens five new floors. Providing more rooms than ever, Sendormatory has now more than doubled its capacity for sleepy business folk. We're very excited, says the hotel's owner, Grip Frembly. Uh, we have accommodations for over 5,000 guests now. The lower bunks. <gasps> Extend near the stabilized core of the station, so please bring enough radiation blankets. I'll purchase them at the lobby counter. Yeah, I think I remember reading this already. Yeah. I think after the first two, we're done with new things. There's a puppetry on the table. Dance, puppy, dance. You know anything about opera? There's a libretto by Jana Sek called The Cunning Little Vixen, in which a farmer takes a little fox from her home in the forest. At the farm, the fox is constantly tormented by the amorous advances of the farm dog, attacked by children, all kinds of stuff. She eventually gets away and ends up having a fine life, lots of cubs, but she never forgets her life outside of the forest. It just gets me thinking. Those poor creatures may never see Bepidrius again. Maybe they have hopes and dreams too. Who are we to take them from their proverbial forest home? Just gets me thinking. You're comparing the Bepidri to an animal? Like a fox? They seem significantly more intelligent than that. The one at the fucking store talks, apparently. Like, what the fuck? What is the status of Bepidri in this universe? It's bothering me so much, especially since it's like not the plot. It's just continuously not the plot of this story. But it's just lingering in the background and you're like, what is the deal with these people? They seem to be people, but no one else seems to acknowledge them as people. To the point where anyone who considers that the Bepidri might be people is almost like a weird outlier. Drinky? Ain't thirsty. I'm in the Navy, so I get a discount here, right? I'll take two minutes off your... I'll, it'll, I'll take two minutes off your hour. Thanks. What are we gonna do with the other 55 minutes? Ha 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 ha. Premature joke. Wanna see my medals? I got one for High Valor and the Gentra Insurgents. You're from... You're from Ujal? I was resident recipient for a whole regiment there. Resident recipient? Jesus. Which one? The 57th. Betty? <laughs> Man, this brings back old memories. Didn't you weigh like 400 pounds then? Yeah, I was swallowing a lot of aggression. Jesus Christ game. Along with, don't. Jesus Christ, I was swallowing a lot of aggression. That's a word for it. Designated recipient for a military reg regiment? Jesus Christ. I knew it caught your eye. Just go with the flow. What's your taste? A hand dapple? A sleeve job? I read that as Steve job at first. <laughs> a sleeve job of fisticuffs, burning bush, and cherry berry special. Nah, just looking. Swear to God. A st <laughs> I can't get it out of my head calling it the Steve job. Haha, <laughs> glutton for punishment, eh? What's your torture tonight? The gopher gum or the knuckle shuckle, the hair salad, the whisker doodle, and the peach fuzz special. Welcome to the Orange Navel. You come to the right place for freshly squeezed love. Find a girl you like and she'll take you upstairs. Be warned. We don't tolerate rough stuff around here, but I don't imagine we should have much trouble with you. You have a sweet face. That's how that works. Talk to all the girls, shy guy. Pick one you like. They won't bite. Honest. Unless you want them to. 
Can she read? Of course she can read. All my girls have at least a secondary school education. What about math? Can she do math? I don't like girls who can't do math. <laughs> I just... This is... Today's a ride. Today's just a ride. I'm on a journey. We're, say, we're just hearing all sorts of sentences I wasn't expecting today. Even the ones I should have expected. She can subtract, multiply, and divide large numbers in her head. Do you know this about her already? Like, you tested this? Is this the thing that comes up? What is the point of these questions, Mr. Caliente? Do you ha want a prostitute or a secretary? Prostitute? Oh. He really misjudged this thing. He thought he was picking up somebody for a job? <laughs> but a different... A very different kind of job, as it turns out. Well, I'm trying to get to room two, right? So I guess I gotta hire someone. What the f- A sleeve job. You were thinking exactly what I was thinking. Let's take this upstairs. Follow the legs. Yeah, you're definitely not thinking exactly what I was thinking. Because I was- I just keep thinking about the ex-CEO of Apple. And it's really funny. I can get a Steve job for only $15? Man, the stock must have really fallen apart. Hey, sluggo, wrong room over here. So I need to get to room two. But I think I need to wrap things up first. Ha, 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 ha. You ready, slug boy? Why do you keep calling me a slug? What is that? What is the implication of that? What does it mean? What's the deal, brah? I think this bed's covered in blood. Is that the sleeve job? Okay, it's a sleeve job for 15 bucks. Pay now or groan later. Use the dough. Let's get this thing over with. Should I dress first or you? I'm pretty perverted. You undress first? You want the lights on or off? I'll brave the glare. Dairy or non-dairy? <laughs> Can I call you mom? Thanks, no, I'm lactose free. Okay, little boy, let's get this show on the road. Let's see the sauce pocket. Well, I'm waiting. You mean to tell me you ain't got a sauce pocket on you? What's wrong with you? You got ice in your head or something? You know damn well I can't do a thing with you unless you got a sauce pocket. Run downstairs, catch Switz's ear, see if he's got one to spare. I think the Vendo machine's fritzing. What the fuck is a sauce pocket? I've got so many questions. I don't want the answers that badly, though. I feel like that's worth noting. Anyway, let's break into this place. Is sauce packet, like, slang for a condom? Like, I can kind of see that. Taco! I thought I was going to find something very different in here, though. There's a there's just a little bipedri in here. You okay? Um... No! Was there a ring inside of you? What the fuck? No, Red, I'm here for the wedding ring. No, it claimed a life. The stupid little bipedri, he ate it. No. This, I don't like how this is just an open air toilet. <laughs> this, this, this is a fuck, there's gutters. And the like bloody sheet, this place is horrifying. I feel like I walked into that one really distressing scene with Pyramid Head. But we're supposed to like be like, oh yeah, this is normal. Right, so I've got the wedding ring. Oh right, they're implying something even worse there because there's a wedding ring. 
So the implication there is that uh, like the, the guy was that was at the brothel was himself already married. Like, oh, that stupid little, oh, the little stupid Pedri. He swallowed the ring and choked on it. I think. Can you choke to death on a ring? It's open. I'm not sure how that works. Oh, what? You're my best friend all of a sudden? No sauce packer for you. Freeloading punk. Well. If everyone's gonna judge me, I'm just gonna leave then. It's fine. I've got my ring. That was the main deal. Bruh. Uh, that lady has four arms. In the window. Who's that with four arms in the window? Wasn't he right here? Yeah. Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. I was pretty sure you were going to come through with on the wedding ring. So I asked my supplier about a field transduction module. You're in luck. He's been sitting on one of those the last few weeks and dying to get it off his hands. Cheap, even. Remember my partner, Funky Collins? Someone's supposed to deliver it to him within the hour. Find him at the cold sweat sex machine. Good luck. Oh, now I even know that place already. Because I've been touring the facilities and picking up slack and other cake lyrics. Because that's just, that's just where I decided to go with that, apparently. I'm normal. 